So next, we are going to look at the nameplate information of a uh, modded case circuit breaker. We have looked at uh, the miniature circuit breakers. So we want to see the modded case circuit breaker. So this is a modded case circuit breaker, as you can see on your screen. This is a three-pole modded case circuit breaker. So this nameplate, what are the information uh, contained in them and how we can use them to do the appropriate selection. So your understanding of all the information here is very, very important, okay? For you to make the right, right choice of uh, the circuit breaker for your circuitry. So this is an expanded view of uh, the nameplate, okay? So if you look at this nameplate, you see the manufacturer here. This is the manufacturer, this is the model. So this first one, UI, is telling us the insulation level, the rated insulation level of this particular circuit breaker, okay? So the insulation level that is between phases is uh, 750 volts, okay? Then here is giving us the impulse withstand voltage. In the event that we have a surge, a lightning surge, okay, that uh, introduce very high voltage event into our circuitry, okay, the maximum of such, such surge that this breaker can withstand without damaging is eight kilo volts, eight kilo volts, okay, that is the maximum this breaker can withstand without damaging. Then here we have the nominal current uh, voltage rating, okay? We have the nominal voltage rating. Then we have also the, the service breakdown current, okay, in kilo amps. And then we have the maximum breakdown current, okay? The maximum current that, uh, you know, in a particular circuitry, you know that once there is short circuit, the point of short, uh, of uh, the short circuit determines also the magnitude of the short circuit current in the circuitry. So if the short circuit is close to the source of uh, the short circuit current, the, the short circuit, uh, sorry, if it's close to the source of your power, I mean to say not short, short circuit current. If the fault, the source of your short circuit is close to the source of your power, of course, that will mean that we have the maximum short circuit current in the circuitry. But if it is further away, because of the impedance of the other equipment and the lines, okay, you see that the short circuit current will be small compared to when it is close to the power source. So the circuit breaker should be able to handle both of them, okay? So that is why we have the service breakdown, the normal and then the maximum, okay? So when you look here, this is the nominal voltage rating. So we have this circuit breaker could be used in this voltage environment. 220, 240, 380, 415, 440, 500, 525, and maximally 660, 690. Remember, the, the insulation, the rated insulation voltage is 750, okay? Which means that anything beyond 750 will stress the insulation of a uh, this breaker, we do not want that. Okay, so the service breakdown uh, current, as you can see, 85 amps, which is the same as uh, the, the maximum breakdown current, 85 amps, when you use it in 240 volts environment. Okay, then in 415 volts environment is uh, about 36 amps. Okay, you see that as the voltage is increasing, the amount of short circuit current that it can actually withstand is reducing simply because the driving force, okay, the force that is driving the current is increasing, okay? So there is no way it can withstand those higher short circuit current 
since the driving force is increasing, you can drive that amount of the current, okay, across the insulation of your breaker. So here we have the, the frequency of operation. Are we getting it 50 or 60 years? You can use it within those environments. Okay, so this is the trip curve of this particular circuit breaker. So you see that we have the thermal section and the magnetic section. Like I said earlier, if you are not familiar with the circuit breaker trip curve or tripping curve, go and check out our training on understanding the circuit breaker tripping curve. Okay, it is very important for your selection of the appropriate circuit breaker. So here we have, here we can uh, set uh, the, the rated, the continuous rated current of the circuit breaker. We'll come to see all of those later. So these are the nameplate information of the, on the modded case circuit breaker that you need to understand. And the reason why your understanding of them is so important, okay? for your selection of the appropriate circuit breaker for your circuitry. So the next that we are going to look at is uh, the nameplate information of those high voltage uh, circuit breaker that we may come across also. So those information that you had on your miniature and modded case circuit breaker, they are also here, okay? So if you look at the nameplate to your left, this is an AC high voltage circuit breaker. You see the manufacturer. This is the type or uh, model number where you can find the wiring diagram, the wiring diagram number, okay? So you see the nominal current rating is 1,200 amps. And this is the frequency of the voltage environment where it operates 60 has okay then this is the manual number okay and this is the serial number those ones are not too important to us in doing our selection manufacturing date okay then here this is one uh, parameter that is very important to us see the rated this is the nominal voltage rating it is 15 kilo volts are you getting which means that it is 15,000 volts, okay? So you can use it in a voltage environment, even 11 kV, between 11 kV, 15 kV, as uh, the case may be, you will not have a problem. But this is the nominal voltage uh, rating, okay, of the circuit breaker. Then this is the voltage range K factor is 1.3. Okay, and this actually defines the insulation level, okay, of your circuit breaker, the rated insulation level. So it's 1.3, this uh, 15 kV, which is uh, about uh, about uh, 17 or 18, uh, about seven, okay, about 20 kilovolts, okay, that's about 20 kilovolts. That is the, the, the rated insulation level of this uh, particular circuit breaker. Anything above that will cause damage to your circuit breaker. Then we have the rated short circuit current in kilo amps. Here is about 37 kilo amps. Remember, we said your load flow will tell you your load flow calculation will tell you the maximum amount of short circuit current you have in any branch of the circuit. So that will inform your choice. So you want to take, you want to select this particular uh, circuit breaker for to protect a line that have a short circuit current that is less than this uh, rated uh, short circuit uh, uh, current, okay? because anything beyond this can damage your circuit breaker. So once this amount of current goes through it, it will be able to handle it without damaging your breaker contact. So this is the closing latch uh, short circuit current level or value, okay, which is the making 
the maximum making current of the circuit breaker is about 77 kilo amps, okay? So we also have the basic insulation level in kilo uh, volts, okay? This is the impulse withstand voltage, okay? Uh, the lightning impulse withstand voltage, the maximum surge that it can handle, which is about uh, 95 kilovolts, 95,000 volts. So this is the amount of time it can handle it in five circles, okay? So five circles of uh, 60, five circles of 60 hertz, that will be roughly eight milliseconds, okay? Because it goes 60 circles in one second. I will get it. So five circles will be around eight milliseconds. So at that eight milliseconds, if it handles this amount of voltage, it will not be damaged. But anything beyond that five milliseconds it can damage the insulation of your breaker. So you want to configure or parameterize the circuit breaker to trip before that five uh, zero point that is eight milliseconds, okay? When it sees this amount of uh, current, also remember the eighty percent rule, okay? So this is the charging motor voltage and the rated current. This is the closing coil voltage and the rated current. Then the trip coil voltage and the rated current on the circuit breaker. Then when you go to your right too, you also see almost the same uh, information, okay? The rated maximum voltage 4.76 kilovolts, rated current 1,200 1, amps, rated frequency 60 hertz, okay? Then the impulse withstand voltage, that the amount of voltage that it can withstand, okay? For the same eight milliseconds without damaging is 60 kilo volts. Then the rated short circuit current that it can withstand without damaging is uh, 29 amps, okay? 29 amps. Then here we also have the K factor, which is about 1.2 times this nominal voltage ratings, okay? that defines the insulation level of this particular breaker, okay? So these are, these are some of the, every other thing they are similar to what we saw on the other side. So those are some of the important parameters you see on the nameplates of uh, the circuit breakers. Like we said, understanding the nameplate of the circuit breaker is very important for you to make an effective selection for your secretary.